Vikings, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure that you have printed the notes or have paper available so you can take the notes. And then remember you need your three distinct colors to use. We're still working on the unit circle. I want you to go ahead in a moment here and pause the video because you need to complete the warm up, see what you remember from our prior lessons, and then you can unpause. Remember at all times that as you're learning, you can pause, rewind, and rewatch. All right, so unit circle lesson three, warm up check. So we're just gonna quickly check our answers on the warm up. If you want a more in depth check, you could pause the video here, go to the optional video about the warm up and check that out to kind of see where I'm getting all the numbers I'm about to show you. Okay, so first the two triangles. We got our 30, 60, 90 and our 45, 45, 90. If a 45, 45, 90 has a hypotenuse of one, then both of the side lengths or the legs of the triangle are root two over two. Okay, 30, 60, 90. All right, if the hypotenuse is one, then the short leg, the leg across from the 30 degree angle is one half. And then the long leg, the leg across from the 60 degree angle is root three over two. Okay, then we can kind of talk about finding sine, cosine, and tangent for all of these different angles. So that requires Sokotoa. So I'm gonna draw your attention to that little icon up in the directions. Sokotoa, it really helps us remember our trig ratios for sine, cosine, and tangent. Again, if you need to review that more, pause the video, go to the optional video and check it out. Okay, so sine of 30 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees, and tangent of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees, opposite over hypotenuse, would be one half over one. The hypotenuse is one, so a lot of these simplify really quickly. So sine of 30 degrees is just one half. Cosine of 30 degrees simplifies to root three over two, and tangent of 30 degrees simplifies to root three over three. Tangents take a little bit more work, so make sure that you hop over to that video if you need to see where I'm getting tangent of 30 degrees is root three over three. Okay, so now we've got our 45 degree angles. So sine of 45 degrees is root two over two. Cosine of 45 degrees, also root two over two. Tangent of 45 degrees is one. Okay, let's do our 60 degree angles really quick. Sine of 60 degrees, root three over two. Cosine of 60 degrees, one half. And then tangent of 60 degrees is root three. All right, so that is our warm up quick review. Let's see what Miss Peart has to say to start this lesson. In this lesson, we're going to examine how to use the unit circle to find sine, cosine, tangent of a given angle. And then later, if we're given the side length, figure out the angle that that corresponds to. So here, we are supposed to sketch the angle theta. Theta is a Greek letter that we use most often to describe a given angle. Theta is three pi fourths. So we have zero radians pi halves and one fourth pi, two fourths pi, three fourths pi. We'll go ahead and connect back to the origin drop our side down to the x-axis, and then remember three pi fourths, so the amount left is pi fourths, or 45. So pi fourths, pi fourths, pi halves, which is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. That makes this side root two over two, that side root two over two, and of course we're in the second quadrant, so the x-coordinate is negative root two over two. Sine of three pi fourths, then opposite over hypotenuse, so root two over two over the hypotenuse one, positive root th two over two. Cosine three pi fourths, adjacent over hypotenuse. So of course, negative root two over two, second quadrant over one. So negative root two over two. And then tangent of three pi over fourths, opposite over adjacent, opposite root two over two divided by negative root two over two is negative one. Remember it's important to say sine of three pi fourths, cosine three pi fourths, and tangent of three pi fourths. You must take the sine of an angle. Doesn't make sense otherwise. So three pi fourths, let's talk about degrees. That was 45, plus 45 is 90, plus another 45, 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees. Comparing sine, cosine, and tangent value to the coordinate. What do we notice about the point on the unit circle Remember on the xy plane, we're at negative root two over two, root two over two, and the sine, cosine, and tangent. Well, positive root two over two is our y coordinate. Negative root two over two is our x coordinate. Tangent, well, that one's a little bit trickier. We'd be opposite over adjacent, positive root two over two. Oh, that's my y coordinate. So let's look at that again. Y coordinate corresponds to sine theta, x coordinate, to cosine theta. So tangent, opposite, root two over two, y coordinate, adjacent, x coordinates, which we can see from above is sine divided by cosine. You might ask, is this always true? Well, let's do another example and see. Miss Ryan? 
Hi guys, so now time for 1b, doing the same thing. So this time theta is 5 pi over 3. So we're going to want to break our unit circle up into the pi over 3s and then count up to 5 pi over 3, just like that. So there's my 5 pi over 3. So just like Miss Peart, I'm going to make a reference triangle connecting to x. I know this reference angle here would be 60 degrees because this is a pi over 3, and so that would be at 30 degrees. So long side would be root 3 over 2, and then short side would be 1 half. So since this is in quadrant 4, I know the 1 half, the x is positive, and the root 3 over 2 is negative. So I can label my coordinate 1 half and negative root 3 over 2. Okay, so before we find sine, cosine, and tangent, let's find the degrees for 5 pi over 3. So I know each pi over 3 is 60 degrees, so if I count up to 5 pi over 3, that would be 5 60 degree increments. So 5 times 60 degrees would be 300 degrees. Okay, so now for sine of 5 pi over 3. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of my 60 degrees is negative root 3 over 2 over a hypotenuse of 1. So negative root 3 over 2 is sine of 5 pi over 3. Okay, so for cosine of 5 pi over 3, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent side is 1 half over the hypotenuse of 1, so I get 1 half. Tangent of 5 pi over 3. So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite side over the adjacent side would be negative root 3 over 2 over 1 half. Yuck. So I'm going to have to multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 2 over 1. I can divide out the 2s and get negative root 3 over 1, which is negative root 3. So let's see if the same holds true about the coordinate like in Mrs. Peart's example. So we got cosine of 5 pi over 3 is 1 half, which was our x-coordinate. So cosine theta is the x-coordinate. Sine was negative root 3 over 2, and that was our y-coordinate. So x is cosine theta, y is sine theta, so let's just write the tangent on the outside. What's kind of cool to point out is that the tangent of 5 pi over 3's trig ratio was actually the sine's ratio over the cosine's ratio. So we could almost kind of try to think of tangent theta as sine theta's value over cosine theta's value. Okay, now that we've done 1a and 1b with you, it's time for you to pause the video and try 1c on your own. Then Ms. Peart will check in with you. Theta equals negative 5 pi 6 radians. So instead of positive, we go negative direction. 0, 1 6 pi, 2 6 pi, 3 6 pi, 4 6 pi, 5 6 pi. Negative 5 pi 6 right here. What's coterminal to that? Positive 1 6, 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, 5 6, 6 6, 7 pi 6. We can clearly see that negative 5 pi 6 and 7 pi 6 are not the same angle of rotation, but they are coterminal. Next, we'll complete our reference triangle. We went over negative 5 pi 6, so that leaves pi 6, which is 30 degrees. 60 degrees, 30, 60, 90. Across from 30 is the short leg, 1 half. Across from 60, root 3 over 2. And of course, we're in the third quadrant, so both x and y are negative. Next, we'll take sine, and that is going to be the y-coordinate, so negative root 3 over 2, comma, one, negative 1 half, negative 1 half. Cosine, negative root 3 over 2, and I was waiting to see if you guys would notice I did a bad job. This is bad notation. Sine can't equal negative 1 half. So we have to remember always to put in that negative 5 pi 6, negative 5 pi 6, sine of something. Tangent of negative 5 pi 6 opposite over adjacent, y over x, and of course we get our fraction divided by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal, divide out the twos, positive one over root three, rationalize the denominator, and square root of three over square root of nine, which is three. So in third quadrant, we see that tangent is positive. This is important to remember. Okay, so this example had a lot going on, so let's review. We reviewed Sokotoa, we also learned how to draw reference triangles so that we could find sine, cosine, and tangent values around the unit circle. Then Mrs. Peart took us through example 1a, where we noticed cosine and sine values corresponded to the x and y coordinate on the unit circle. This held true in example 1b, where we also were able to confirm that tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta.